Let's work in Terraform to show how to output a value to the CLI that comes from a child module. What I'm doing here is I'm working with a root module and inside of that a child module that has a resource that will create IAM users. What I want to do is I want to output the user names into the CLI. Normally, you can't do this directly from the child module unless you run the Terraform configuration in there. But I want to run the Terraform configuration from the root module. So what we have to do is we have to create two outputs. So effectively, what we'll do is this. From the child module, we'll create an output. And that will be to output the IAM users' names. That's all I want to see in the CLI. That output can then be accessed by anything else in the Terraform configuration. If, again, I was running the configuration from the child module, I could use it, and it would output to the CLI. But I don't want to do that. I want to run the configuration from the root module, which will be very common. So to do that, I'm going to create another output, this one in the root module, it's going to be a separate output that will reference this output. And then ultimately, that will output the information to the CLI, to the terminal. So that's effectively what I want to do here. I've got to create two outputs to do so. So let's go ahead to our terminal here and create these outputs. If I run a tree command, you'll see that, first of all, I'm working in a Terraform directory that I've created just called tftest. Inside of that, which is known as the root module, we have main.tf. So that's my main Terraform file. And that's the place that I'm going to do my Terraform run within this tftest directory. Also inside of there, we have the module we created. And the directory name is users underscore module. And inside of that, users.tf, which has the actual IAM users resource. So some of this work I've already done. So let's take a look. Let's change over to the users module directory. And then let's go and modify the users.tf file. And I'll use vim to edit that. Okay, so we'll do a vim on users.tf, press enter, and you'll see here the resource is already here. I've already created this AWS IAM user, and I'm calling it test underscore user, and they're going to get names on AWS, person, and a number, and it's actually going to create three users. But what I want to do is I want to output the name of each user after it is created. So I'm going to add some information here and create an output block. So we'll create an output block here and we'll call it name underscore of underscore all underscore users. Start the block and create a value. The value here has to have the block label and the Terraform ID and then the item that I want to output. So it's going to be AWS underscore IAM underscore users, or excuse me, just user, dot test underscore user, dot, and the item that I want to output, which is simply name. So whenever you want to output the name of an IAM user, it's just called name within the AWS naming convention. But I want to do this for all of the users, because there's three of them. So I'm going to use the splat operator, and so we'll add square brackets and the asterisk. And that is the splat wildcard. We'll close out that block. Escape out, colon WQ to save and quit. And that is our output. Keep in mind that the output name that we're giving this is name of all users with underscores. Okay, so we'll press enter, that'll save. So let's go back up to our root directory. And now let's go and take a look at our main.tf file. So here we have a Terraform block. We've got the AWS provider. We've got the region that we're using. I'm using US East 2, doesn't really matter for IAM users. And then the module, users underscore module. And the source, this is actually incorrect. 
the source needs to be users underscore module because that's the name of it as you can see here okay so we'll escape out of there save and quit that and let's go back to our second terminal and we'll run a terraform in it and initialize our directory and we'll do the actual terraform run and show that it's not going to output that information even though i put the output block in the child module remember we're working here in the root module that's where we're running our configuration right within the tf test directory I'm going to do a TV. That's short for Terraform Validate. I have an alias to that. Lots of aliases on this system. And that's a success. And now we can apply it. TA is a Terraform Apply-Auto-Approve on my system. So we'll run that. And that should create the users. Okay, apply complete. It created the users, but it did not output any information because that output is in the child module. We need to reference that output from the main or root module. So let me go back to that module and we'll take a look once again at users TF. This is the output that I want to reference. And I'm going to do that from the root module. So we'll do a vim on main.tf again in the root module. And we'll create a new output block. Okay, so this is going to be an output. And we can call this whatever we want. doesn't really make a difference. I'm going to call it uh, user underscore names. Open the block. And we'll say the value for this. Now, the value is very important. We're working in the root module here, and we want to reference an output in the child module, right? So we're working here. We want to reference the output that we already created in the child module. To do that, we have to create another output, but we have to specify this child module's name. To do that, we use the following syntax. First of all, you'd put module no matter what you're doing if you're referencing a module. So it's going to be module dot, then the name of the module, which is users underscore module, as you can see right here. And then the output that we want to reference, which is name of all users. So that's going to be a dot name underscore of underscore all underscore users. Close out the block. Check it, module.users underscore module dot name of all users, which is the output. Now, before I save that file, I want to destroy any infrastructure that I created already uh, because I did create those users. So we'll go up one directory here and run a Terraform destroy with an auto approve to get rid of those real quick. Okay, that is done. Go back to my editor. And we'll do a save and quit on that. Okay. And at this point, that output should point to the second output in the child module and allow the output to be displayed in the CLI. So let's run a Terraform apply once again and check out what happens. There we go. So the three were added, three users and their names, person-0, person-1, and person-2. So usernames is the name of the output, and it gave all three of those name IDs that came from AWS. So again, in the main.tf, we're using an output, which is referencing an output in the child module. And this was the output that we created in the child module. So it's really about creating two outputs. And I get some confusion with that. Some people ask, hey, do I have to actually put the same output block in both the child module and the root module? Well, no, you create your outputs within the module that you're working in, whatever child module that is. And then you reference that from your root by referencing the module and the name of that output. So it's two separate outputs here, as we show in here in this diagram, root and child. Now that's only if you're running the configuration from the root module, but quite often you will be. 
So that's going to depend on your config and your scenario, but that is one example of how to output a value to the CLI from a child module using the root module.